Most people describe Maserati as making some of the most gorgeous cars at a low price. And I'm not talking about like a Pagani Wyro where it costs four million dollars. Although the Wyro is gorgeous, a Maserati is a much better car for if you only want to spend forty to sixty thousand dollars. That was up guys, welcome back to reviews. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a Maserati Levante S 2020 SUV and my it is gorgeous. By the way, guys, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go now, hit that subscribe button. Every single time you guys give me a subscriber, it helps me out to make better content for you guys. Now, you might find this hard to believe, even though I eat, breathe, and sleep cars, I have never actually driven a Maserati, which is surprising because people describe it as very fun, although the Maserati Ghibli is basically 70% Chrysler. But this is 100% pure Italian Maserati, so that's good because I don't want to be driving a Chrysler. Nothing against Chrysler, I just... Okay, I have something against Chrysler, but don't worry about it. Big thank you to Sam Did Luxury for letting me use this car to fill today, guys. They are linked down below in the description. Check them out. This car is for sale and many other Maseratis and other cars that they have on their lot. Now, Maserati kind of competes with the higher luxury companies, kind of like BMW, Mercedes. That's where they place themselves in competition. And they're pretty effective at it. And they're really nice cars from the outside. But the older Maseratis don't have as good a build on the interior. And I'll show you that in a little bit. This is the S24 Levante, though. And I will admit, Maserati does do some cool stuff with the lettering. I mean... Look at that, that's so cool. It literally is like, it's a different font from any other car. Like most of the cars, it's like, oh, plain font. Maserati's like, no, 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 we step it up another level, bro. So that's that's impressive, I'll give them that. Okay, I've also always wondered this, on almost every single Maserati, there are these three tiny little air vents here. I don't even know if they do something. They literally just add like the coolest side look to the car ever. I don't think they're functional. If they are functional, that's great. But I mean, they're like this big. So I don't know how that's gonna help you, but. They're kind of a cool little add-on. So you could spec this car out with red calipers. This one came with black to work with the black on white contrast and everything on the interior and exterior. But you could make these red calipers. I think you can also make them yellow. Personally though, I like them in red, but they do kind of match with the interior, so that's all right. But these rims are also really good too. There isn't really too much to talk about on the exterior of the Maserati Levante, but let's hop into the interior because we all know on luxury cars, the interior is what matters. Now I said before that Maserati doesn't have good build quality. That are the, that's the older models at least. The newer models are much better. So the older models used to be like plastic. It used to not feel as good. This is leather. This is a nice comfortable leather. This is leather. I mean, a lot more leather, a lot more improvement on build material and build quality has improved with Maserati over time. And it's okay because as a company that used to start out with a little bit, it's okay quality. Now it's gotten a lot better and I can only hope that in the future it's gonna be even, even better. I mean, even their gear shifters used to be, not even be that cool. I mean, this is cool because it's like an LCD screen, shows you manual drive, neutral, reverse, and park on the top here. Um, it's got this little unlock button like any other shifter. So this is, and it's leather wrapped, it's got some nice material. So they've really improved on their build quality of the car. Now, I will admit, their seats have always been cool. I don't know what it is, but their seats have always been so, so cool. I mean, when you really think about it, like this entire logo right here is literally embedded into the seat so you can actually feel it. It's got nice stitching. It's got like a good bolster to it. And it feels comfortable to sit in, I'll admit that. It literally feels like, like I could sit here for hours and it's not gonna bother me really. Like it's just comfortable overall. So before we actually drive the Levante, let's just talk about it a little bit before we actually drive it. So this is my first time actually getting in a Maserati and going to drive it. I'll admit the first thing, the shift pedals are awkwardly weird. Like they're really like, they're big and they're long and they're weird and they're like different shapes and dimensions. And it's like, it's kind of weird, it's kind of cool. Um, sitting in the seats, comfortable, everything's fine. It's tons of leather, everything's nice. That's a cool button that opens everything. So everything feels really high quality in here overall, and that's how it should feel in a nice luxury car, especially in a Maserati. You can use different modes, sport, off-road, traction control off, you can change the suspension on the car. So everything's really well built in this car compared to the older models that they used to have. Oh my gosh, okay, we found a problem. I just went to start the car, and I thought the start button was on the right side, because that's how all manufacturers do it, no. Maserati's gonna be different. They put on the left. But let's adjust the seat, obviously, me being 6'3", it's not comfortable to ever sit in a car. And we're in drive, boys. So if we mess up now, well, it's kind of over for us, but that's all right. Okay, first of all, um, I'm not the biggest fan of SUVs. Just keep that in mind. I like being low to the ground, but if I have to drive an SUV, it better be a good one at that. But this is actually really, really nice, really comfortable overall. Like this is a very nice, smooth ride. Oh, it's a G-Wagon, that's sick. But anyways, um, no, it's very nice. It's it's smooth off the bat, and that's important in a luxury car because you don't wanna have a bumpy, and the suspension on this is actually really nice. And that's the difference between other cars, I feel like, is that Maserati, 
already puts that luxury point out there, but by changing that suspension, making it a comfortable ride, that's really nice. I mean, I'm going over a bunch of bumps right now and it's not even doing anything. Like, it's smooth, it's, it's relaxed, and that's how you want a nice cruiser to be. I mean, I could cruise this on a highway and I probably would fall asleep at the wheel. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an autopilot like a Tesla, so you can't just sleep and drive. Okay, we had, sorry, we had to take a slight delay, but, oh, that startup noise. I will admit, the startup noise is nice on this car. But anyways, most importantly about any Maserati ever is that it does feel luxurious. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. And that's the important part because the older ones feel cheap. The older ones feel like, oh, the build quality is not good. Oh, it doesn't feel comfortable. Like, that's what they used to feel like. But Maserati's really up their design and everything about them. And for an SUV, it's it's got some power, I'm not gonna lie. It's nothing like an Audi RS Q8 or a, a, like a Lamborghini Urus or even a Tesla Model X, but it's got some power to pull. And for the everyday daily driver, it's more than enough. But what I will admit, guys, these seats are so nice. I mean, I don't even know what it is about them. They're just so comfy. They're so like bolstered and you can shift manually, so. Yes, yeah, so you can manually upshift and downshift, which is nice. And these pedals are massive. I mean, these pedals are the ones that should be on the RS5 Coupe. They should switch them out because this is just crazy. Look at that, boys, a ZL1 Camaro. Oh, that is amazing. Now, I did have to let the engine warm up a little bit, but now that it's warmed up, let's give it a little acceleration and see how she does. Oh, that exhaust. I did not know it was that loud. That is so nice. Did you hear the backfire? That was so nice. That was the first time I hit it like on acceleration and that was nice. Guys, we're, we're an idiot. We didn't have the car in sport mode. How could we not have the car in sport mode? Oh, it got louder. Oh, do you hear that? so much better than before. I'm driving this thing in sport mode only. Did you hear how good that sounded? That was amazing, oh my goodness. Okay, I will admit this. This is the one thing that Maserati literally, and I think the Italians do this better than anyone, is the sound, guys. I mean, they can make any car sound good. It doesn't matter how many cylinders it has, it doesn't matter what it is, give it to Maserati and they will make it sound so good. I mean, it literally sounds like a V8 that Listen to that purr, that's unbelievable. I mean, I do feel bad for the, let's try and manually shift it though. Oh, you can hear it, it's so good. That like, that noise though is so addicting. Like, I don't even know what it is, it's just so good. Oh, that's unbelievable. That is so nice, that's addicting. The little baby rev, little teensy weensy baby rev, you know, just something small. Ready? Ooh, that sounded good. That was smooth. From a viewpoint of Maserati, they have improved a lot as a company, I have to give them that. They've gotten a lot better. Their older cars weren't as good. I think they introduced the Levante in 2017. And it sold really well for them, and I understand why. Because this car is luxurious, it's fast, it looks good, it sounds unbelievable, and it overall holds up really well because it's not a Chrysler built engine, but they decided not to. And I mean, look at how much better the car runs. I mean, this car never has problems. Maseratis, if you maintain them, never have problems. And they sound so good, you couldn't get rid of them. Now, although this car does sound fantastic and it rides well, the best part about it is that even through all these bumps and everything, I don't even feel anything. Like, everything just feels normal. It feels smooth, it feels correct. And it, it's luxurious. I mean, I'm just sinking into this seat. The steering wheel is gripped well. Everything's built well. I mean, I usually when I rest my arm on stuff, it becomes like, like annoying and it's like, you know, I feel like it's cheap material. Like, this is solid leather. Everything's nice. I like this tiny little clock. The gear shifter's comfortable. I can go into manual and I can shift through. And everything about it is just super, super nice. So I think this is definitely an improvement on Maserati's part, but we are going to put the car back because I think we have outstayed our time in this car. By the way, guys, 
It sounds really good, like I said. And this is just it purring, idling. It sounds fantastic. Oh my goodness. If you want a Levante and you're thinking about it, go get one. Just go get one right now. Thank you so much for watching the video today, guys. But as always, have a great week. Have a great day. Rev it up, and I will see you later.